to our next no shame. our next thing, <laughs> our next thing which is uh where is it here I had it over here oh yeah so Ben Carson um he says the article is from the Chicago Chicago Tribune so you know kind of know who's running that deal over there uh, New York has picked up on this. Um, the claim is Ben Carson compares slaves to immigrants coming to a land of dreams. Uh, and that's kind of got people up on a roll. Coming to a land of dreams and opportunity. So he said that's kind of... I'm sure this is taken out of context uh, somehow. No, I just think that Ben Carson's a fucking idiot. <laughs> the fruit salad of our lives. You think the fruit salad of our lives is is is, is an idiot? I can't believe it. How is this? I, 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 I can't agree with that wording, and that's the thing. It's not that I think he's an idiot um, as an individual. He's an idiot for having said that sort of thing. And he, he this guy's a brain surgeon, okay? This guy is clearly one of these individuals that's like in the top 1% or even higher yeah. who has skills that most people will never even grasp. Right. And he has a, a pro in my opinion, he's got a proven track record. I totally agree with him being put into a position uh, with um, housing and development and such. Um, but with the same like this, and he's made other women. You think you should be women? I'm not. Uh, I'm you think not you should be in housing and development? Like whitewashing everything and saying, okay, you just, you just called him an idiot. Got to pass. It's like we've got to uh, examine these individuals. And Ben Carson has actually said some things that are, in my opinion, uh, untrue, incorrect, or even. Um, I don't know if unnecessary is the best word, but it's basically like. <laughs> It's head scratching sometimes what he says. You're just like, what? I don't want to be insulting, but yes, I guess that's the the best thing because he's referred to some religious beliefs and such, which again, if you want to have them, that's perfectly fine. But in the way that he projected them and stated them, it sounded very divisive. It sounded quite um, absurd. Um, and I have I'm not banging this guy on his faith. Um, there's a lot of stuff I agree with him. So it's it's really just more of his choice of words that I disagree with. So it's not the individual. It's more his conduct and the fact that I think I could have done a better job if I was in his position. Yeah, I think uh, many people could have, uh, to be honest. And I don't know why he has a position. Um, I don't think it makes any sense. Um, that he's in the position he is. Sometimes I go, and honestly, this is a guy who I have gone back and forth with. Sometimes I hear Ben Carson, I'm like, man, he sounds like a great guy. And then other times I hear him and I go, what the fuck? Is he, is he a moron? So depending on how you, you know, and I know he's not, is, you know, that's, it's like you said, he's got a very good skill for his brain surgery. I mean, he must be one of the most um, precise and um, I guess, um, you know, brain surgeons or doctors in the whole world, maybe. But uh, as far as social aspects and social commentary and what is he, the ch uh, Department of Housing? Department of Housing, yes. But you How know what, you've made also a good that? point. So I'm playing devil's advocate here. You've made a good point uh, saying, okay, well, this individual doesn't have the experience in political office to claim a position of this importance. But then you take a look at individuals like, say, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Al Franklin, um, and I could go on here. Yeah. The fact is there's been a lot of senators, there's been a lot of um, um, well, the representatives and such. Again, um, it's the American system, so I'm not 100% well, familiar I, with I, it, I just but. think that I get what you're saying. Like, you're, you're, you know what I mean? Like, how could – well – You have individuals that although they've come in from different experiences in life, they've been able to do a good job – for the most part, or in certain aspects, we, we've got to be honest. We've got to be balanced. But there have been individuals that haven't been uh, lifelong politicians who haven't done a bad job. And that's something that's more important is shouldn't we be worrying about the fact that there are lifelong politicians, individuals that basically from birth to death are geared towards just being a politician. I mean, um, I think that here, sort I, of ulterior motive should be questioned. Here's why I think this is why there's a double standard here with, with this type of thing. Why Ben Carson would be chastised when, you know what I mean, a celebrity could become the president or something. 
I think the reason is because like the president or like a governor or somebody like that is seen more of a general like a leader, like a general leader of people and their their opinions and ideals are going to take over the leadership role. But so it's like more vague, you know what I mean? Like anybody could really sh- should be able to become the president no matter what, no matter how long they've been in politics or whatever they're doing because they're giving you their their feelings on life and and they're and they're going to implement them uh, when they come into office. Whereas like Ben Carson or like some any of these people that Trump has appointed into his cabinet, uh, you know, even Obama had appointed people in the same way. Um, he, that was a little more dis- disguised than this. But it's it's like the Department of Housing or whatever, you know, you would think that somebody who's been involved in, you know, the social housing agencies in the country or somebody that has something to do with housing or low income housing or. Um, maybe even a real estate uh, sort of person would be somewhat involved in this. You wouldn't think a brain surgeon would be the one that would be taking over a specialty like no, this. But that's that, but that's the thing, though. That's a problem that a lot of people don't seem to understand is the fact that we are ignorant towards uh, – lust. a lot of people are ignorant towards how a government operates. But for those of us who have been part of public office uh, or the public service and have dealt with the – criminality that is the government we know that uh, it's not as as it is always portrayed in the news so certain individuals that you might again you make it a point a brain surgeon what does he have to do with housing well with a, br- a brain you know uh, like his like a mindset that he has he has that ability to organize a bureaucracy of thousands of individuals that right now are doing a shit job clearly and he might be able to organize it so that it's uh, fiscally um, responsible so that any uh, expenditure they make they're responsible for if it's a, if it's an overcost well then people get fired and should stuff put a, should have put an held a, accountable for their well you should have put an accountant uh, in then there should be accountant running it then but that's the thing though so Again, we've been dealing 30 plus years of the same garbage that nobody is held accountable for their actions. So when you have an opportunity here with the individual that you think, oh, well, he's not qualified because he hasn't been a politician, perhaps it's time to give that option to an individual who has that intellect, clearly as a surgeon, to think beyond um, you know, w- what the last 30 years have sort of given people. But, so, but don't you see this with everyone? It's a matter of being open-minded to um, to their potential, because clearly these aren't dumb individuals. Well, I just I'm just disappointed that I thought you know Trump was going to drain the swamp or whatever he said. Um, well, it's very difficult considering that he's surrounded by by sharks. There's nobody in Washington that doesn't want to save their ass from uh, all the different political intrigue they've been involved with. Again, you've got to remember that there is a um, pedophile ring going on that's centered in Washington as well as other places around the country. Nobody's covering the fact that 1,500 uh, pedophiles in these rings have been arrested worldwide, essentially yeah. since Trump got elected. And this is directly involved with the fact that he exposed John Podesta and what was going on with Pizzagate. So there's a lot of stuff that people aren't talking about, aren't aware of, but the fact is there's an open military, there's an open political coup against Donald Trump Trump right now, and um, he's surrounded by individuals that have claimed loyalty to him, but in fact are really just working for um, whoever Clinton um, and Obama are working for, globalists, people like George Soros. And again, it's not one individual, it's a group, it's a cartel. And George Soros is one of those individuals who's made himself publicly known, and he's basically provided at least $1 billion towards Hillary Clinton's campaign and another billion dollars to try to destabilize the political situation in the United States. Yeah, there's no doubt that there's something going on with um, trafficking of children. Uh, There's a ring of people who are being looked... I wouldn't say necessarily that that party and that group is maybe specifically purposely like, we must fund this, but they are definitely... Um, what's the word, uh, enabling it and looking the other way or ignoring it. Um, and it's going on. I mean, let's just say it. there's a group of people that are getting a hold of little children and fucking them. Uh, and that's that's just the best way to fucking say it. Uh, you're worried, you know, they're all worried about Milo Yiannopoulos' comments about a 14, 15, or 16-year-old 
uh, maybe being friends with an older man or something. But uh, there isn't even scarier real deal that's going on. They don't they don't talk about that at all. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. I think the thing what I was more focusing on was I get what Trump's up against, and I get that the, he could, you know, he's in some you know he's in some dangerous waters with what he wants to do. But I was um, looking at more of his policy and stuff, like uh, you know, just the the people that he's put in charge of things is not. You know, it is well, absolutely. Very, I, don't, I don't agree with everyone that has been put into uh, their positions. Uh, and there, there's some of the a, policies these, could be better uh, well, dealt with other individuals. But it's it's but, almost like I mean, really, like it's like he's focusing on these rich people who he's just. Then uh, I think you're getting the wrong perception because he's been trying to do exactly what he promised. Because again, when was the last time you had a politician that actually went through with what they had promised during a campaign? No, I agree that he and is doing, doing what exactly he, that. I agree with so, that. No, I don't, I don't disagree that he's not doing what he promised. But he's getting resistance from the fact that you've got a well-established elite in Washington that's been running things for the, at least the last 30 years, and uh, clearly he's going to get resistant. Everyone is against him because everyone has a piece in the pie, and they want you know they want to continue to to enjoy themselves on the back of others. I I mean, he, well, he really is an outsider in that sense. But I'm not that talking about that. Going I'm talking... to disrupt things that people don't want to disrupt it. But I mean, like, you know, he's put a guy like, I mean, like, look at the uh, energy guy, like the dude he put in charge of energy. Like, we just talked about Ben Carson and, like, what does he have to do with real estate? And I get it. You said he's smart and he can do accounting and he can When you have somebody people. that knows how the system works from the inside, you definitely want them on your team because yeah. then they know how to dismantle that system that essentially is made to, again, benefit off the backs of the people. I wish you would so, say that then because the guy that he put in charge of the energy stuff, I mean, the guy is like... Again, a, you're you're like, dealing with individuals that are looking tightening. to sabotage you at everything. Again, look at what they've come up with Trump. He's grabbed the pussy. No, no, sorry. He he said grab them by the pussy. He didn't even do that. Um, what else? Uh, Obama wiretapped him illegally as president, and they found nothing. Well, I don't think it's so illegal. Again, it's, not, it's, not illegal it's, it's not illegal because it's not illegal because of the Patriot Act. But again, the fact is he ordered it. Well, it might be fucked up. It's, 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 to the uh, Attorney General. It wasn't. And she uh, basically ordered it. That is right. already proven via the paper trail that exists. I think it is so illegal because of the... Uh... Since they spied on Trump, found nothing, not only did they commit a high crime, um, they even at this point, when this guy is already the president, they cannot find any dirt on the guy because there's basically nothing on him. So well, well, they can make up all they right can do is now make... there's an active coup against uh, Donald Trump, and they're trying to remove him from power uh, by just setting the country ablaze. All Look at all the riots us. that happened recently. You said they pee, pee, peed on Russian pee. women, though. <laughs> that's all they've said is he's peed on somebody somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure that's quite um, believable. Yeah, it's that, not believable. Uh, supposed yeah. dossier that wasn't a dossier. Oh, yeah. Well, there's the, oh, he peed on someone somewhere. Um, also there, there's, um, we talked about this a bunch, uh, what the hell is his name? The Roseanne's old husband. Oh, uh, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. Tom yeah. Arnold. He's got a real racist that would be unbelievable thing Supposedly. that he, but he can't release it because he doesn't want Trump's people to attack the families. How convenient. So that's, we haven't seen that either. But let's not look into Hillary Clinton's direct connections with, uh, uranium company in, uh, both Canada and Russia, where they were able to funnel 20% of uh, the United States uranium uh, directly to Russia for their uses in uh, nuclear factories and uh, generators and even weapons. And, um, you know, they didn't have a problem because they got their donation for the Clinton Foundation. Yeah. Uh, oh, I agree. I mean, uh, there you go. I don't know what started this whole conversation originally. It was Ben Carson is what it was. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? This will be the make or break for me in, as far as politics go, because we've seen, we've seen this, we've seen Trump come in, you know, with a whole different attitude, a different sort of candidate, a different president, uh, than we've really had, I, I think almost ever or in my ever lifetime for the most part, maybe Ronald Reagan's the closest thing, but this is completely different. Really I've never seen anything like this. Um, and if this doesn't work, then I'm I'm pretty worried for the future of uh, whoever else is going to come in here and take over things. 
But uh, that's all I got to say. And that's, uh, I think we talked about everything I wanted to get to. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you click the like button, comment down below. What do you think? Make sure you subscribe right here to the channel as well. Don't miss out on some daily videos and our longer podcasts and other uh, breaking news videos that we'll be doing. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff right here. Um, so don't miss it. Uh, that was uh, Devious Dave Rose. I'm Danny, and you can't handle the news. Stay tuned for more news right here on Shame on News.